Blizzard warnings, the area is shrinking because it did include Wyoming and Colorado, portions of Nebraska, at least the Panhandle, and down toward Kansas. Now it's concentrated on the Dakotas, northern Nebraska, and Minnesota. Powerful storm system, it's continuing to move away, but it's a very strong one to say the least. You can see how, at least according to First Alert Future Scan, the snow should stay to the north, and the thicker clouds will also follow suit and stay mainly north of 36 Highway. So we'll call it a partly cloudy sky on average, but the winds are going to be the big factor coming into tonight and even into tomorrow too. 35 at 6, 39 at 9, noontime temperature 48 degrees. You flip those numbers, that was our high yesterday, 84. Now we're talking noon at 48 and only getting up into the 50s for the afternoon. A look at the exclusive first alert nine day forecast has an impact day coming in on Sunday, but let's take it in order. 33, 53, windy on Friday, dying down a little bit on Saturday. A freeze is possible and even tomorrow morning will be cold, but I don't think you'd necessarily have to protect the tender plants. But by Saturday morning, I think that may be a fairly good idea. 36 in the morning, 53 on Sunday with that impact day. This is another storm system that we'll be tracking coming in from the Southern Plains and the Four Corners area, putting us on the cooler side of things. And that's why we have a rain snow mixture of possibility then. But notice how it shoots back up to 68 on your Monday, Tuesday getting back into the 70s, then cooling back down to the 60s for a high temperature. And then Wednesday, another chance of rain moving in by then. But that's when it actually feels, Kelly and Lara, more like springtime should this time of year.